How's it going folks and welcome back to the channel. This time I'm doing something a little tiny bit different. I'm still outdoors. I'm out in my hat tent. I got the fire going. But a company by the name of Blue Eddy has sent me this. It's a Blue Eddy EB3A and I'm going to tell you that's a powerhouse. Now they sent it to me, asked me if I'd review it and so I put it to the test as you know I will. Um, I brought it to my cabin, my off-grid cabin, and it worked phenomenal down there. So I'm going to run through it a bit, tell you a little bit about it, tell you what I've done with it, tell you what I'm going to do with it. Obviously, I'm going to bring it everywhere it goes, if I could bring it. Because I don't know about you, but those little tiny power banks, uh, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Let's get into it. All right, guys, so here it is, the Blue 80 EB3A. Now, I'm not a technical guy by no means. Now, I don't look for the pull cord or the choke on a computer, but I'm just gonna tell you what I know is about this. I do know it's very compact. It's a nice square shape. It do have a handle on top. So that's nice, nice flat surfaces. Um, it includes a 268 watt hour lithium ion phosphate battery. So I can't tell you exactly what that means. All I do know it's a really good battery and it has really good char charge cycles with 2500 plus life cycles. So uh, charging ports, the company says there's six ways to charge. So you can charge with your uh, AC and your DC so you can charge plugged into a generator and you can charge plugged into um, a car battery or whatnot vice versa or solar panels up to 200 watt solar panels the thing I really like about this charge the 120 volt charge is the cable there's no pesky block and you just got your what does that look like to you good old computer cord right so if you lose this, um, you can take it out of a home PC or a thrift store. You can pick these up for like two bucks and plug her in. The block is inside of there. So that's, that's, that's way to go, Blue Eddy. I like it. So right here, you got uh, the input for solar. Now, um, this comes with this cord. And a solar cord. It don't come with solar. I think it should have came with the battery. And it, you can charge your through your um, DC. Every all DCs here, whether it's your battery or um, solar. So, anyways, your outputs. This is your DC. You got a DC 12 volt socket. Two DC 12 volt leads. You got two um, USB-C outlets, and you got a USB-A. Now the USB-A outlet is uh, 100 watt, so fast charging, we'll say. You can, you can charge the laptop, no trouble. Let's have a look at the display. As you can see now, I've been running this pretty much all night, running these lights, running charging my phone i'm only at 91 percent and these <laughs> these lights apparently aren't pulling any wattage let's see what my phone will pull when i plug it in right now with my phone and these lights i'm only pulling seven watts so that's pretty good it says uh, it, it'll this battery will last 23 hours and six minutes so you have got a 600 watt, two plugins, pure sine wave inverter with 1200 watt surge. And I'll get into that a little later on. That goes with app. The app for this is cool. So there you have it. Now, uh, the light on this is you got a low, sorry if I'm blind this, a high and SOS. Up top is um, 15 watt 
wireless charger for your phone. And I'll get into that a little later on. All right, I'll leave that on now and I'll jump right into my app. The app for this connects really nicely. Uh, I haven't had no issues with it. I've used this down to my cabin and I'll show you in this app how I use it to my, uh, on my cabin. I've ran this on my cabin. My cabin was pulling roughly around anywhere from two to 300 watts during the night. And uh, I ran it pretty much the whole night. Now, obviously I was asleep for some of it, but I had it going for a good straight four hours. And plus, probably got up a couple of times a night to check the fire. And from, it was at around 95%, I was, I had about 22% the next morning. So that's pretty good. So let me show you the app. Let me, let me uh, just get into it really, really quick. This is the app right here. When she loads up, we'll go ahead and we'll connect. And she'll find the device. And there she is now. She's telling me exactly what's going on. So, as you can see, it says I'm pulling out zero watts. Now, these are LED lights. That's probably why she's not pulling much wattage. I didn't know that when I bought them because I was kind of hoping for something that would pull a bit. I've tested this. I've tripped this out with hair dryers. Um, but anyway, she's pulling seven watts to charge my phone. Now, I can control from my phone. I can turn AC off. There goes my lights. And I can turn DC off. There goes my phone. Now I'll go ahead and I'll just put the screen up here now so you can see it. I'll turn my AC back on. There we go. Everything's up and running. And from my phone, DC on. Now, we'll go into settings here now. And she got uh, different charging modes. You can change it from standard, silent, or turbo. Uh, I've charged it in turbo. Let's just say it's really quick. Solent is basically just basic, um, it's a slow charge, her fans and that don't cut in, like when you're charging on standard or turbo, those fans cuts in and there, she's pretty noisy. Me, I just charged on standard, standard is roughly around an hour or maybe a little better, so that's no big deal. Alright, then you got eco mode, and this is... Makes it eco shut down every four hours, she'll shut down, stuff like that. Turn that off. I could turn my light on from here, whichever I want. I only blow on these once. There we go. Sorry about that, and I'll shut it off. Power lifting. Now, this is what I talked about this 600 pure sine wave. If I wanted to run something that's more than 600 watts for a short period of time, or I just needed that power, that extra power for some reason, I can use power lifting to turn that on. I will get 1200 watts, but it won't be pure sine wave. So it's not good for sensitive electronics like computers and stuff like that. But if you need it, it's there, which is a fantastic feature because there's sometimes you just need that little bit of boost. And they say it won't affect the battery, so now I haven't had an opportunity to test that. I haven't had it long enough. That's pretty much it for the app. Now what I liked about the app is this inverter, when it's turned on with nothing plugged in, just just the inverter turned on. That will burn juice, obviously. And how much juice I put it to the test, I left it for four hours. With just an inverter on, absolutely nothing plugged into it. And it was at 100%. When I, when I got home, it was at 49%. So just an inverter running for four hours, 49%. So what I like about this app is, I can go to work and turn off my AC, leave my DC on. This is plugged into my cabin. Leave my DC on. DC don't burn... Pretty much nothing. I think it was it was down 3% or something over 4 hours. So I would leave my DC on. This unit would be out in, in my cabin. On the wall. Plugged in. And I'd wake up in the morning. 
or during the night if I needed to go out and put wood in the fire or go to the outhouse. And I just grabbed my cell phone, flick AC on, and I got power to my cabin. So I always had available power through my app because if you never left one of these buttons on, your app disconnects. So then you got to get up and go find your, go find your unit. So I just the app is very very convenient, and I like it. All right, let's just go through a few changes that I'd like to see. Um, maybe there's a few things I I didn't really really like. First, starting off this this charger up top for the phone. Um, it don't charge fast. And it takes out more juice than I guess it gives out. Uh, that's that's just my personal. I'd just soon plug my phone into here and either save the weight of this here, or add in something else. I I don't know what you'd add in, but the the for me, I won't even probably use this charger. Another thing I didn't really like was there's no master switch so um say for instance i was going to my cabin and i threw that in my skidoo sleigh and when i got down where it was bouncing around a small bit it ended up hitting one of these buttons so if i was going for a while and didn't know Say I took this out the next morning and this AC was on, well, my battery would be half dead or fully dead. So, yeah, a nice master switch would be nice instead of just pushing these buttons, but there's no big deal. It's definitely, definitely not a deal breaker. Um, last but not least, this light. This light is great for shining straight, but if I can get her dark here now. Oh, uh, nope. Let's get her dark. Now, all I can see is the display screen. I can't see no plugins. I can't see no buttons. Well, I can see this one that's lit up, but I can't see nothing. So, you turn this light on, you still can't see nothing unless you do this. Now I can see everything. So, the light is great for looking around and fantastic, but maybe if we had something to. I don't know. Maybe I'm being picky. Who knows? But if you're a fellow in a tent, getting up in the middle of the night, looking for your plug-in or looking for your buttons, I guess you still got to look for the button for the light too, eh? So in conclusion, and the big question, would I buy the EB3A? Hands down, 100%, I would buy this because it's what I need. I need it for the outdoors. I need it to charge all my equipment, my cell phone, my GoPros. Like I said, if you've had any experience with these smaller battery packs, my goodness, sure you 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 need a trailer behind it if you're going for any amount of time. So for the weight of this, I mean it's absolutely low. I think it's ten pounds or less than ten pounds. It is the way to go. The best bang for the buck. I believe they're around. Don't quote me on this because I believe last time I checked, it was roughly around 300 bucks ish. If I'm wrong on that, I'll put the price there. Anyway, definitely worth the money. So go ahead, check the link down below, click on to it, see if you like anything, uh, see if there's anything there for you because I tell you, I, I've looked at some of their stuff and whew, man, I'd love to have some of that stuff for the cabin. Anyway. Go ahead, click the link down below. Don't forget to use that code. Like I said, I'm not paid to do this. This is my own opinion. And uh, hopefully you guys like this video and like this product. Anyway, so next time guys, you guys keep the strain on her. And thanks for watching.